possible. I mean, you could get knocked up on your lunch break and give birth on a sick day and then go back to work and drop your kid off at a daycare set or something. You could physically do that. So but you, you certainly can, you, you are raising the next generation of muggers, murderers, drug addicts, and rapists. Okay, so all our doctors and lawyers, professional people out there are are giving birth to drug addicts and prostitutes. Look around you. We have more drug addicts, rapists, and murderers than we've ever had before. And now we've got the first adult generation of people who were raised without a father around. So we can contribute that to professional people having children. Part of it is that. Part of it is uh, women deciding to have kids without a man around. Uh, it's not all one thing, but it is the uh, combination of factors. And the thread that runs through it is the fact that uh, men are no longer present for the raising of children. And this is what you get. Well, maybe men shouldn't look at women and think of them as sperm banks. Well, that's what you are, dear. You're a sperm bank. Really, Tom, actually, you're a you sperm know, depository, to be specific. That you probably thought women were sperm banks. No, actually, you know, sperm depository. Really let's make it, I want to make it really specifically clear. You're a sperm depository. You're a human toilet is what you are. You know, that is just perfect, Tom. So you obviously don't or even wouldn't consider walking in the line as a Christian, would you? With that kind of an attitude. I am an atheist, kind of darling. Well, there it goes, people. Now you see, so you've told the entire general public across nationwide that you're an atheist. Oh, I didn't so just do it. Carla, you atheist. obviously are a new listener because people have known I'm an atheist for years and years. This is no, no news to anybody. You're right. I'm actually a new listener. I, I actually got in my husband's car, turned it on. And, and, you're a husband, really and your a husband is a listener, isn't he? Well, you know, actually, I'm going to ask him about that because I would find that if you're an atheist, Either he doesn't know that, or... Believe me, if he's a listener, dear, if he's a listener, he knows. Well, he must find your show entertaining. And he probably agrees with a lot of the things I'm saying. I doubt if my husband would consider me a sperm bank. Well, he's not telling you that, dear. No. I doubt if he would consider anything. I doubt he'd ever tell you that. <laughs> Clearly, he's tuning in for a reason. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, laugh it up, dear. Uh, you don't think it's the well, least I, bit I, possible I it's that uh, your husband would be a, your husband would be afraid to tell you he listens to a show like this? He's probably afraid to tell you. I doubt that. But I do, I do think it's funny, though, that every professional woman out there is giving birth to either a drug addict, a murderer, a rapist. That's the future and for a lot of these kind of kids. And that way because they're professional women and they work. Uh, because they're not around with their kids and they don't have fathers around with their kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, so what about the ones that are professional that have husbands in the picture? Do husbands take any role in raising or rearing their children? Well, even if they do, let's face it, men pay the bulk of the bills, just like your husband. Really? Yeah. You think my husband pays the bulk of the Your bills? husband makes more money than you do. Really? Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's funny. Either that or you're but it, but really it, homely. It's actually rather humorous that you... You would conjecture that out of what in the context? Well, uh, there's two possibilities. Either he makes more money than you do, or you are homelier than you think. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it was entertaining, but thank keep, you. Keep darling. laughing, darling. I mean, uh, the only reason a man pays your bills is because you're hot. <laughs> right? Hello? There goes Carla. <laughs> I mean, come on, you know, you may not like the truth. It may be ugly. It may be harsh. It may be hard to listen to, but uh, that's the truth. Period. Men pay the bulk of the bills, and uh, if we're not paying the bulk of the bills, it's because you're homely and we can't afford better. Bottom line. Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Rob on a cell phone. Rob, you're on the Tom Like It Show. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? All right, Rob. I do care. Hey, Tom, your, uh, your topic tonight really touched me. Uh, I'm a single dad of two kids, and uh, I've got a story for you. About five years ago, I uh, had a place on the ocean, real fancy. Everything was going well. Met a girl. A month later, she tells me she's knocked up, eh? So anyhow... I did the, uh, tried to get the abortion. She said, no, fine. So, long story short, we had a little girl, and uh, the moment I had her, I just fell in love with her. So, 
I stuck with this, tried to make everything work. In fact, I even had to move in for for a little while. Found out that it just was going nowhere. So I uh, bought her a townhouse, got her set up and everything. A few months after that, she decides that uh, the warriors should be involved. So I just finished a two-and-a-half-year custody battle <clears throat> where I just happened to be one of the few dads that uh, got 50-50. Mm-hmm. Uh, during that time, <laughs> uh, when everything was going bad, I ended up having myself a little squeeze. And uh, <laughs> a few months after that, I found out I was... Uh, you knocked her up, too. Let me guess. I did. I did, you know. And this is before I even knew. Good work. It's called a condom. Have you ever heard of those? Well, actually, the second one, I got hook, line, and sinker. I was using condoms, and she had, was on the pill the whole nine yards, but there's no excuse. Regardless, uh, we had a little boy. So being the, uh, the expert in law that I was, she signed a 50-50 right off the bat. Now, it's less than perfect, but the one thing I did realize is that these kids have to have their dad, eh? That's why I fought so hard. Virtually almost lost everything in the court battles, but uh, today I'm doing pretty good. The one thing, though, about the daycare, it's uh, I prefer not to have them in daycare. But if you do have to have them in daycare, ensure you the, – the, what we did is we made sure that there was, like, an academic side of it. So, like, when my little girl, she was going to school, or at two and a half, she was going to daycare – she was in actual school. She was learning all of her numbers, reading, writing, all the rest of the stuff. She's now in kindergarten, and it's amazing the results that it's had. Uh, yeah, but understand, old. there's more to life than reading the alphabet or reading books. Well, that's, that's very true, Tom, but you know what? Instead of just having uh, them go to a little play center, I figured, hey, you know what? At least I can get her academics started, and because uh, she's at home with either me or the other mom uh, every night, right? And uh, so I said, hey, well, you know what, eight hours a day, she's got to be somewhere. Might as well make use of it the best way that we can, right? Uh, the results we've seen have been phenomenal. She just got her first report card. <laughs> and well, I think, that, I think that part is great. I think if your kid's getting an education, look, you're making the best of a very bad situation. But I well, still do believe, no matter how well you read, no matter how well you do on tests, no matter how you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, uh, I think that without your parents there all the time, uh, to deal with it when you fall down and hurt yourself, or to deal with it when you're sick, uh, I think the more it affects you as an adult. I, I believe that. Well, you know, when they start school, you know, they go to school for, what, five hours, six hours, you know, in elementary, right? That's, that's when they're uh, five years old. Well, no. It, that means they've had five years, presumably, with you. Yeah, but in grade one, they start that, right? But, but the they, point I'm making to you is that y- your kid's two and a half. No, no, no. My little girl's five now. She started at her... All right, but when she was two and a half when she started. Two and a half. Yeah. Most kids start school at five. Exactly. Not two and a half. That's very true. And they need... I believe kids need that time with their parents. I'll tell you something. My parents and I did not have... Uh, especially my father and I were not on great terms when he died. We weren't. We are on okay terms. We were on civil terms. We were on the best terms we've been in a long time. But for a long time, we were on very lousy terms. And i got to tell you something. Despite that, my mother was home with me every day, and my father, uh, when I was less than five years old, was home until noon every day, and that time I had with them was valuable, regardless of what kind of relationship we had. It, it, well, it really makes a difference. Well, you know, I think you're right, Tom, and, uh, you know, we're going to suffer from it in the long run, but I guess the only thing I wanted to say is that uh, a lot of situations... People do dump their kids off at daycare, and they don't really look at what they have, uh, what they're sending them to. If you can choose it properly, at least you're going to, uh, you know, get some benefits for your child. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, what I've tried to do is, you know, I'm at home every night with my kids, either yeah. one or the other, because they uh two different moms, two different mm-hmm. situations, right? Yeah. You know, the time that I spend with them, now that I have a little boy, I mean, I know is is important. Like, I mean, if this uh, woman ran off and just tried to raise him himself or herself, he turned out to probably be a whack job, right? But at least I have, you know, my contact with him. And uh, you're going to see this more and more, you know. So, well, but I'm, what I'm saying is we should start seeing it less and less. Uh, instead of just accepting that it's reality, it's time for us to, to, uh, to buck up and change it back. Well, if you've got some solutions for people, I mean, I yeah. know. Yeah, number right one, don't have kids before you're 25 years old. Number two, don't have kids before you're married. Number three, don't have kids the first five years of your marriage. Number four, uh, wear a condom, and if the condom breaks, be with somebody who agrees to have an abortion if uh, you accidentally impregnate them. I mean, th- these are ways to improve everything right off the bat. 
Yeah, but do you think that's reality? That's going to happen? Well, put it this way. It's more likely to happen if we all start saying that's the way to do it than if we say what you said. Well, this is what's happening, so we might as well just learn to live with it. You know, it doesn't have to be that way. Guess what? It's not that way in my life. Well, yeah, but you're an exception, Tom. What? Why am I an exception? <laughs> you know, if you uh, if we all had that answer, then we'd be... Uh, well, you know, you know maybe, uh, maybe uh, I ought to be the role model for this. Well, I think you should. Well, you know? I'm working on it. But in the meantime, <laughs> I don't accept the idea that it has to happen more and more. It could happen less and less, too. You well, know, less you know, people smoke cigarettes now than they used to. You know, there's less teenage pregnancies now than there were 20 years ago. You know, certain bad things that have been happening in society have been reversed. Mm -hmm. So uh, why can't we reverse this? Well, it's, it's so true. I mean, uh, maybe we well, can. The, the, the uh, first step to reversing it is the same thing that we had with uh, teenage pregnancy, the same thing we had with, with, with smoking, the same thing we had with drunk driving. First, people have to start saying what you're doing is wrong. It's wrong. It's bad for children, and it's bad for you. It's wrong. The, the way you change it is for, instead of everybody just going, well, this is the way it's going to be, and that's that, it's for us to look at people like you and say, look, you sound like a nice guy, but what you're doing is wrong. Yeah, well, um, I've tried everything that I can to uh, to change it, and, uh, you know, this currently is how it's working out. And uh, You know, I listened to one of your callers, and she said that, um, you know, her kids seem like they're doing fine and all the rest of the stuff, and you won't see those effects till later on. Uh, well, that's true, right? I think... It, for me, in my experience, uh, women are the biggest culprits of this whole thing. They really have this this weird idea that they can do it all, and then they uh, they're faced with it, and uh, the kids are the ones who are going to suffer. Um, you know, I don't see a lot of guys in, that have done what I've done. In fact, most of my guys have got divorced or separated. They typically go to the weekend dad type thing, mm -hmm. and I think those kids are going to be uh, they're going to suffer you know, even more. But uh, come on, more, having more. sex with women who don't agree in advance to have an abortion, they get impregnated, is is just bad policy. That is a very you're absolutely right. I, I mean, that's a conversation you have to have with a woman before you have sex with her. If you well, got absolutely. pregnant, what would you do? And if uh -huh. they can't answer, I'd have an abortion right right off the bat. Mm -hmm. You're you're effing the wrong chicks. You got it, Tom. Hey, I gotta actually go pick up my kid. Good luck, Rob. Thanks for the call. The town like it. Shit. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Say hi here to Kevin on a cell phone. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. You are the man. But listen, sometimes I flow mixed with you. Like that last guy you had. What was his name? Rob. You know, you're kind of ripping that guy a little rough, you know. He sounded like a pretty stand-up guy, you know, and he was doing what was right. He was doing what he could. You know, obviously. But he was still, had... yeah, look, he's doing what he could, yes. But by the same token, he was irresponsible knocking up two different chicks. True there. We, I mean, uh, strike one is bad enough, but strike two, come on. <laughs> well, yeah, that's just dumb on his part. Yeah, well, you know, well he, that's my he's point. Stepping up to, he's stepping up to the plate, you know, and instead of, like you say, you know, if you don't get with a chick that's, straight up willing to have an abortion, you know, you're making the wrong decision. You know, if that's, uh, I, I, give the kids a chance, you know. What do you mean, give, what do you, what do you mean give the kids a chance? Okay, the guy's obviously, he sounded like he was financially able to, you know, raise the kids well, give them a, you know, decent life, you know. But the if point he, is, he, he didn't plan this. You know, children should be planned. We have the technology available. We have the uh, <laughs> drugs available in this society uh, to have children when we are ready to do it at the right time. Yeah, Tom. I mean, but that's if you if you do everything in a you know set formula. Well, my God, like, people, people spend more time people worrying. Live. People spend some... more time worrying about uh, you know whether their car is maintained and, and, and they take it in for the right service intervals than they do about whether they have children uh, on the right intervals. Well, yeah, you're right, but those are those are mechanical, you know, electronic. You can life plan. Is life. No, no, no. Life is yeah. not like. You know what? They, the people who are poor, the people who don't do as well as other people, are the people who believe that life is like a tidal wave; it just washes over you. We have control over this stuff. We do. You know, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, I mean, you ever hear of the organization called Planned Parenthood? <laughs> it yeah. is possible to do that. Yeah, you're, you're right, Tom. But, and know. people don't because they have this mistaken belief that they have no control. But they do. You're, you're, you're right there, Tom. I'm not saying that 
he didn't have. Life doesn't just happen to you. Life is what you create for yourself. You make your own luck in life. Exactly. And he just made the wrong, the wrong. Twice. Twice. But he didn't do like some guys and book it and break it and get out of town. He still. Right, but, but don't call me and tell me how great it is that you're putting your kid in daycare. It's not. I'm not saying that was great. I was that's not great, but that's what he was telling me. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you, but he, the, you know, the point is, it's time to say that knocking people up and them having kids when you're not ready to do it is wrong, and it's time to say that putting kids in daycare for eight hours a day is wrong. It's wrong. If you can't take care of kids, you shouldn't be having kids. It's that simple. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. Fondisha on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Huh? Yes. Yes. Who am I speaking to? Who did you want to speak to? Tom. You want to talk to Tom? Yes. All right. Could you hold on, please? Yes. Okay. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-58-TOM. 1-800-58-TOM. This is Fundisha on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Fundisha. What's going on? Not much. Okay, let me tell you about your little topic here. What's wrong putting kids in daycare? You should be taking care of them, not a stranger. <laughs> no, because if you have to work, to make your money. If you don't have enough money to raise children, you shouldn't be having them. Okay. Everybody have make a mistake and have a child. You made more than one. Only have one. You only have one? One child. Yeah. Okay. And why didn't you have an abortion if you couldn't afford it? I don't believe in abortion, so oh, why should I have one? Let me ask you a question. You don't believe in abortion? Is that a religious belief you have? No, it's just my belief. Oh, I see. Uh, how about, uh, do you, are you religious? No. You're not. No. I see. But I believe that you shouldn't have abortion. So you believe you it, you, but you believe but you believe in having sex without birth control. You believe in that. No, I was I was on birth control. You were? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it just happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now what? Well, uh you could always give the child up for adoption. You should be there to raise that child. Hey, the child I... deserves to be with a parent. He is with a parent, no, he's but he not. needs education. Hello? He I is, don't want no dummy out here. He is not with his parent. He is with a stranger. He's at school, and his teacher is... School not. is not eight hours a day. Yes. Oh, okay, whatever. It's not. What you mean it's not? It's not. Okay, how many kids you have? None, by That's design, because well, I planned. Man, please. Unlike you, I planned. Oh, that's why your wife probably dumped you and didn't want to have any. You probably want one. No, I, I did not want one. As a matter of fact, one of my marriages broke up because I was with a woman who wanted one, and I didn't. Oh, you sorry then. You make the money, so why you didn't want to have a child? I wasn't making it at that time. And by the way, the reason I make it today is because the first time I was married and I wasn't making it, I didn't make a stupid decision back then. Okay, so everybody's stupid who have a child. Anybody who has a kid, before they are financially ready to do so, yeah, I'd say stupidity would be one good reason to do that. No. Think about, okay, think about all these people who have kids. What about them? Okay, so you said everybody um, is stupid who have uh, well, kids everybody, and not no. Uh, no, that's not what I said. I said everybody who is not financially prepared. And when I say okay, not financially prepared, is not that means... Everybody is not financially uh, prepared to have a child. Then they shouldn't be having them. Okay. People who aren't financially prepared shouldn't be having them. It's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, so, okay, you have a child, and you are taking care of your child. So what No, you... so a stranger is taking care of your child. Okay. The first two years, my son, grandmother, took care of him. Okay. Yeah, but that's not you. Hit, once he hit two years old, I think a child needs to be in school. No, he does not. Learn because you know why? This the issue. This Look, this the issue now why these people stay home with their kids, and their parents wanted to um, have them go to speech therapy for speech delay. Why? What? Well, uh, they come they come and get referrals for speech delay. Uh, schools, yeah. for most people, school starts at 5. Okay. I started at 5. Okay, I started at five too. Because I had parents at home with okay. me. 
teaching me how to add and subtract, teaching me uh, how to read certain words, how to pronounce certain uh, uh, the phonics combinations and what have you. I had parents home doing that. That's probably because your parents couldn't afford to put you in daycare. No, no, no. My parents were poor. Okay. All right. So My parents were dirt poor. poor. Everybody was poor. I grew, up in, I grew up in the South Bronx in an $80 a month apartment. Okay. There were four kids in one bedroom. That's how rich my parents were. Okay. So but my parents, no matter how poor they were, they were there. Okay. What about the poor people now who are on AFDC having five or six kids? Whose we fault pay. is that? We They're pay. idiots. We, we pay. They're for idiots. Them. They are idiots. All of them. Idiots. Oh well. Well, I love my child. I'm glad he's here, and I um, and I'm taking care of. Him. What are you doing to prevent further pregnancies? I'm just not even having sex anymore. No more sex. No. What a life. See, I'm waiting till someone comes and marry me. Mm -hmm. Put a ring on my finger. Mm -hmm. I'm going old school now. I see. And how's that working out? You're 28 and not married. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's really working out great. Yes. <laughs> and you know, if I'm I'm really horny, I just get a vibrator and just play with myself. There you go. Hang on a second, there, Fundisha. Katie, what did you want to say to Fundisha? You're an idiot. That's all I have to say is, if you're going to have kids, stay home with your kids. Okay, how many kids do you have? I have two kids, and okay. I'm only 21, and I stay home, and I'm okay, married. Okay, and you marry, and your That's husband, right. how much, uh, okay, how much does your um, husband make an hour? Obviously enough for me to stay home. Uh, I don't think so. Yes, I What's he doing? Home. What is he's my a husband? pimp? Is he a pimp and he making that much money? He's not your man, honey. I'm glad. That's right. My husband is a college-educated man that works. Wow. That's really? right. Okay, so what about you? How far did you me? go with your education? I'm in college right now. But you see the difference between Okay, that's why your husband is a pussy because he's um, supporting you. A real man That's because I'm a good-looking woman. Good. I'm a good-looking woman. Good. How that's good are you? Takes, how good am how I? How good are you? I'm good, honey. Trust you, me. Please. Every please. Really, he just got you in a house because you might be ugly. <laughs> no, see, when a man takes care of you and pays your bills, You've got to be good looking. Wait a minute, let me tell you this. I had that at 18, and I didn't mm -hmm. have a kid. I had a and that's right. Here. Where is he now? Oh, Where I is didn't he? Want him. You know no, why? I'm sure he didn't want you. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, uh, oh, yeah. matter of fact, you know what? I just that's got right. rid of one, and I just had a two carat diamond ring on my finger, hon. Oh, oh, goodness. And I just goodness. decided I didn't but you, want no But you more. still can't stay home and take care of your kid. You oh, have to pay someone else to do it. No, honey. I could have stayed home and paid my kids. Mm -hmm. He's oh, well, on over welfare? 70000 a year. On welfare? No, Come baby. On. I'm not on welfare. Please. Sorry to let you know. I got a but good job. But it's okay job. for your two-year-old to go to, to, go to kindergarten if or to school. If you understand, right? I said my two-year-old went to school. He is four now. Sorry. Okay, so he's been he's in there smart, for two and I bet years? You, and I bet you he's smarter than your child, too. <laughs> Do yeah, your child not count to 100? You, huh? Do your child yes, not my child to can count to 100. Yeah. And okay. you know why? Because your, I stay home with her. Okay. At least my child knows Spanish, too, in school. In school? Yes, sorry. Sorry? You no know oh, Spanish? My daughter does know Spanish. Okay, maybe because you're Hispanic. Mexican. Okay, that's fine. I'm black. And um, sorry, my you. child knows Spanish, and he's not even... Uh, right, but see, that's not the issue. The issue is you don't want to stay home with your kid. You'd rather have a kid, not be with the man, and but go you to know work what? because you can't stay home. Oh, I you can't, can't be a woman home. and stay home with I your kid. I can't stay home, but you know what? But you a don't. real woman will you work. Don't. A real, a real woman, woman would take work care of their home. responsibility. That's a right. A real your woman children. Will, is your independent. Children. I am independent more than you and your husband. But because you at home, no. you probably at home sitting up eating all day. No, that is a, a whistle. I'm making my husband dinner and cooking cookies right now for my kids cookies. because I'm a mo I'm a woman. Okay, yeah, I you, can stay home. You, you obviously probably, can't. You probably is making cookies for yourself. You That's probably right. a big old fat pig sitting oh, at home. Yeah, I'm a big fat pig. You're right. Miss You're right. I'm a big fat pig. But at least my man stayed with me. Okay. Where's yours, honey? Where's yours? I don't have one, and I exactly. told not to have one. You're, but you'll have, have kids and put them I in have daycare so other people one will child. take care of them for you. It's okay, but at least because my, you uh, can't do it. Oh, if I really want to, I can. Believe that. You I can't. A, you well, couldn't stay home with your kids. Listen, I get I get a child support check probably bigger mm -hmm. than your husband. Oh, please. Paycheck. But see, I don't have to get a child support okay. check because I'm still with my husband. Okay, that's good. He's the father of my two children. Okay, Unlike I'm single. You. And I get a uh, That's right. You're check. single. And You're, I don't it's okay to hurt. send your kids to daycare because Watch you can it. just pop them out uh, and send them to someone else to watch. Are you, so you can go to work. Once again. Once again. Once again, I have one child. One okay. child. Okay. One child. Now, and you're 28. I'm 21 and I have it better than you, honey. Okay. You're 21. You probably the right. whole school probably had your child at 15. 
What is I'm what is you probably team? you probably had a child at fifteen and, and you so and I still stay home. And you so exactly. used to staying home, you probably don't have a high school education. Did you go back and get a GED? That's right. I got oh, a GED. No, you probably no actually I graduated from high school working forty hours a week and taking care of my daughter. Because you know what? I can take care of my child. Unlike you, I don't have to work. Okay. I stay home because I have a man that takes care of me because I choose to stay home and raise my children, okay. not pawn them off you on someone else for eight hours a day. So you think your That's life right. is um, worth sitting home all day? Excuse me? You're 21, so you, you're not living a life. you at home. I am living ass. a life. I'm living sit, a life for my children because these children are going to grow up. You probably got me. anyway. Let me let you know. You probably got married. Because you got pregnant. That's the only reason why no, he honey. wants you. No, and you honey. probably had a baby at 15 no, in honey, high I'm school. No, I'm sorry. You're wrong. But and see, he the did, difference is I can't. And he, didn't, he probably didn't want to go. He probably didn't want to go to jail for statutory rape. Oh, that's, so that's so why. So, honey, where's your man? You're not even a woman enough to stay home with your children. I don't you have to pawn them off on someone what? else to take care of them. Listen, if I wanted that's to stay right. home, if I wanted to stay home, you'd be on welfare. And my husband would be paying your check. Paying your welfare so check. Yes. Yeah. She just living off of a man who probably older than her, probably her daddy anyway. Yeah, he, yeah. My yeah. husband is only seven years older than me. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. yeah. And when daddy. you got with him, when you were fifteen. No, I didn't get with him when I was fifteen. Sorry Whatever. to say. Whatever. Okay. How, Whatever. Is, how old is your kid? I have a five-year-old and an eleven-month-old. Yeah. Okay. Five-year-old. Now you was in high school when you had that one, huh? That's right. I was in high okay. school. You but I still tramp. stayed home and take care, took care of her, didn't I? You was a little tramp. You probably wasn't yes, good, right? I was. But look at you, honey. You aren't even with your baby's dad. Probably I'm smoking crack. Okay. Huh? My baby um, father is not um, smoking crack. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And all black mm -hmm. folks doesn't do that. For your information. For my information. Let me let you know that. Why don't you, you, you know you probably one of them wet bags came from uh, um um. Yeah. That's how come my husband's a college educated man, okay, right? That's okay, my, he's, he's my a wet father back. is too, a wet so back. therefore you a wet back. I'm you, a that's wet all back. you know. Is, tell you, I'm white. All you know. I am a woman. Okay. I'm a you're real a, woman, unlike a real you. Woman, a real woman would that's be right. messing with an old man. An old man. An old man. You was You're not even school. with a man. What honey? kind of what kind of parents do you have who go let you sleep around with an older guy? They need to put him in jail for statutory rape, but maybe, you know what, maybe what? he what married you, you because... You don't even know what you're Mary, talking about. You don't even have a clue what you're talking about. You're talking about. You're a big one, huh? You I'm jealous. Don't be jealous because I give my husband BJ's. Yeah. Don't be jealous that I have a man. Oh, I'm, I'm not jealous. jealous. I'm and not jealous because you're probably swallowing it. <laughs> it's my husband. I can swallow if I want. Okay, I know. You, you're just nasty and trifling. What yeah, I'm a woman? nasty, trifling, married and, woman yeah, who can stay home with my two kids and live it up. That's right. My husband pays for me. That's right. All right, Katie Fundisha, thank you. By the way, these are your neighbors. It's Mary on a cell phone. You're on the top like it show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Um, I'm going to give you some unscientific proof to kind of back up what you're saying about mm -hmm. kids and, and daycare. Yeah. Um, when I was 20, I had my son, and I was a single mom put him into daycare with a stranger when he was eight weeks old. Now, I have a friend I went to school with together, and I was always at the top of my class. I was considered the smart one. She was always kind of at the bottom, and um, she went the traditional route, got married, had her kids, um, stayed home with the kids, and her children are getting, you know, uh, certificates from the state of California. How great they're doing. My, my uh, you know, it's an and, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to try to get you back on a better line because I'm only hearing every other syllable, and I don't want to lose what you're saying there. But uh, Dean will try to call you back here. Andrea, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, I have to say, helping a few women who completely agree with you. I have such a problem with women who want to have careers and want to have kids. I think that if you have kids, you need to stay home and raise them. Well, or don't have them. Why is it? Why is everyone in such a rush to have kids before they're financially able, before their lives are together, before their careers are together, before they're married? What is the rush? Uh, you know, I'm around women too that can stay home, and they say they don't want to stay home, and I don't understand why they want to have kids. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Chrissy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is crazy. I know. Uh, and I just wanted to give that girl Felicia props. Uh huh. Because it's really hard to be able to raise a kid like that and work. 
And I think that that other girl. She but it's not only hard. Uh, many times, no matter how hard you work, the kid, the, uh, the kids out there, the five, kids in daycare know. are going to be the kids hot wiring my car in ten years. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. No, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Who no, do you I think does all the mugging? Who I do you think just... does all the raping? Who do you think does all the murdering? Who do you oh, think does all the car theft? Ridiculous. Who do you think that is? That's ridiculous. I was in danger. People in happy life. families? I'm 19. People raised with a mother and a father? You think they're the ones out I'm robbing you? $3,000 a month. I graduated, and I'm taking college courses right now, and I was in daycare my whole life. Never been in trouble with the law. I'm not, not saying life. it's impossible. I'm simply saying it's unlikely. No, I disagree with you. Oh, you think it's likely. So yeah. then tell me this. Who do you think is committing all the crime out there? Who do you think is on drugs? Who do you think is getting knocked up at 15? All the who little you... mama's boys, little mama's girls. And who do you think is raising mama's boys and mama's girls? The Single mama's mothers. Mama's That's who's raising them. Why? You know what? You're right. You're righter than you know. You are more right than you know because it is the single mothers who raise mama's boys and girls. You're exactly right. Thank you for making my point for me.